Hey there rock stars, this is Eric Andreas with your Guitar Sage and today we are going to be discussing this topic called springboards. So you could, you could google this springboards for guitar but you probably won't find anything because I think I might have come up with the phrase myself, I don't think I've ever read it. When I think about springboards, this is the way I teach my students, when I teach them about springboards basically springboards are bookmarks if you will to be able to flip real quickly and know where you're at on the neck and then to use that to associate the notes that are next to it to that note okay um, I'll explain more here um, this I've got these diagrams in ebook 2 that you can find at yourguitarsage.com if you haven't got that already check it out it'll help a ton with all the lessons that I teach on here along with ebook 1 okay so um, springboards if I want to know what this note is, I know that this is an open E because I know the names of my open strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, right? So I know that E doesn't have a sharp, so this would be F, right? If I know my musical alphabet, which goes A through G, and I know that B and E don't have a sharp, then if E doesn't have a sharp, the next letter has to be F, okay? So this may seem like a logical one but the first springboard is your open strings okay you gotta know those E A D G B E what I tell my students is Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie right um, okay so one octave above that is the same are the same notes E A D G B E so if someone asks me what this note is or if I want to know what this note is I don't have to do this whole method from down here, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, da, 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 da. I can say, well, this is an E. And so I know this note that's behind it has to be an E flat, right? Or a D sharp, however I want to call it. So, open and 12th fret, those are our first two springboards. The next two springboards refer to tuning the guitar by itself. So if you know this method, you've probably seen people do this where they're tuning their guitar like this. I think I have a video on, on, on that. It's called tuning the guitar to itself or something like that, or tuning it by ear. Um, then, you'll, then you should know if you're tuning the A string to this note here, if they're supposed to sound the same, then obviously they are the same. And so they're both A's. So I know that this is an A, this note right here. So if somebody asks me what this note is or what this note is, say this note right here, I don't have to start from here or from here. I can just say A, A sharp, B. Okay? So the fifth fret, that's our third um, springboard. And then we want to go one, up one octave from here to the 17th fret, then this, of course, is one octave higher than this. So if someone asks me what this note is, I don't have to start from here, E, F, F sharp, G, da da da, da 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 da. I don't have to do that. I can say right here, this is an A. I'm going to go back a half step to an A flat. Okay? So that's our fourth um, springboard. Another one, maybe not so much a springboard, but if you remember your open chords like G, C, um, if you remember like those notes, then for instance, that C carries up the fretboard to the C up here, the G carries up to this G up here. And so those are easy. I, you know, if I want to know what that note is, I know it's a C right away because it's a looks just like the open position, right? Right. Okay, so here's another springboard. And these I use all the time, as well as the others, but this one I use a lot. Um, and this is actually a technique that, that folks use. Um, called playing octaves when they're uh, rocking out. So you've probably seen this form of, of a bar chord before. And um, if you were to just play the first finger in the pinky, you have an octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Oct. Octave. So there's your octave right there. And so anywhere you move this first finger, that pinky moves up with it, you have an octave. Now in order for that pinky to move up, don't do this. I see new students do this kind of thing. 
Yeah, it's moving up with it, but it's not moving up the same amount of frets. If my first finger moves up two frets, pinky does too, and so on. Obviously, when you're scooching up the fretboard, the frets get smaller, so you need to compensate for that. Okay, so those are octaves of each other, and this works for the sixth and fifth strings. So. You know, starting on the C here. So if I want to know what this note is, that's a C. It's fun to fun to do too. Okay, so from the sixth string or sixth string and fifth string roots, the octave is up two strings and over two frets on sixth string and fifth string. On the fourth and third strings, it's down two strings up three frets. So down two strings, up three frets. So if I want to find the octave to this, I go down two strings, up three frets. Same thing with the uh, third string. I'm going to find this octave, down two strings, up three frets. Every single time, right? Cool stuff. Those are springboards. If you want to see the diagram for that, go to yourguitarstage.com, get the ebook too. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Got tons of guitar videos here to fill up your mind with good guitar stuff. All right, later, your guitar stage.